Howdy everybody, coming to you from Krakow, or how they say it, Krakow. We're going to get some Polish food for lunch because we're hungry. Correction, uh, because Allison is very hungry. I'm very hungry. <laughs> so, this is gonna be our first shot at Polish food. <laughs> what are you getting? Yeah. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. So good. Okay, so that was absolutely delicious. My goodness. It's funny because when you have a kebab back home, right, like we think of like a stick with some beef and vegetables on it. But that was like an entire. It was like a little taco with bread and hers was in a tortilla. It was amazing. That was so good. I wish we had tried that earlier, but uh -huh. I guess it's pretty uh, pretty common food here. So highly recommended for Polish kebabs. Krakow is definitely more uh, touristy. <laughs> Look at this giant crowd of people. So Alice and I were just having the conversation about how awkward it is to vlog in public. And uh, it is, it's extremely awkward because as I'm vlogging, she's watching everybody else stare at us yeah, like while that, I'm talking to this like, camera. Like that guy right there, he's like, yeah. what is going on? And the truth is that if you're gonna vlog, yeah, right, no matter what camera it is, whether it's your phone or a big setup or whatever, you just gotta get over it, right? And in my opinion, it's not weird. And I said that just because nobody else is doing it doesn't make it weird. And she said... It's the definition of weird. <laughs> and she's probably right. Just gotta go out, enjoy. And then really, we're talking to you guys. Not everybody else. <laughs> you know, watch out for those and people. And it's a sport to have to navigate everybody. Yeah, it's a sport anyways. <laughs> It's like, it's like you're trying to score a touchdown in football. That's what it ends up being like. Yeah. While trying not to drop your expensive camera gear, you know, because nobody else cares about that. But anyway. All right, well, I think we've pretty much explored most of what we want to see around here. We're all fed. And even when you're in a faraway country, girls still want to go shopping. You're manually zooming in on me. Yes, I am. <laughs> Oh, she found H&M. Go figure. It's your, uh, your go-to sweater there. Yeah, they're so comfy. How much is it? Uh, 15 euro, so like 16 bucks-ish. Can I get a friend's sweatshirt? Well, that didn't really pan out, did it? We, uh, we always get the idea to go shopping, and then we realize we don't feel like spending money. <laughs> so then, then we end up... That's a good not... problem to have. Yeah, I guess that, that is. So I think the last thing we're gonna do today as far as being adventurous is actually riding around on these obnoxious electric scooters that everybody hates, but we absolutely love. I think that means good. Oh, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Is this your favorite part of being in a city? Yeah. Enjoy that? Yes, I did. It's always her favorite part of being in a city. It might not seem like it, but it's been a while since uh, lunch and we're kind of hungry. So, <laughs> it's time to start planning dinner. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to get dinner now, and uh, you might be a little surprised where we're going. Maybe not, uh, but I have to say that 
I'm excited. A little ashamed, but excited. <laughs> what about you? I just want pizza, so. Oh, you gave it away. Oh, you gave it, it away. <laughs> That's right, Pizza Hut. Yep, that's how we're finishing off our night. <laughs> we're the worst at traveling and trying new stuff. Although we did have that kebab today and that was awesome, but we didn't feel like doing anything crazy for dinner. We were in the mood for pizza and pizza here is different and it's more on flatbread and we weren't really in the mood for that. So we're being basic Westerners. That sums up today. We had a great time. Thank you guys for checking it out. Until the next time, be blessed by travel.